Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm going to be doing a player review of the Team of the Year, Raphael van der Vaart. And you can see his on-card stats up on the screen. His average choice on the Xbox is about 110k, and his average choice on the PS3 is about 131k. He was in the Team of the Year most consistent goal, which meant he didn't get huge setup grades from his standard form, and he's not compared to the other Team of the Year players. But anyway, I'll move on to his in-game stats, and you can see a lot of very nice skill attributes here. He really excels in them. The pick are 91 ball control, 91 curve, 93 free kick accuracy, 92 long pass, 93 long shots, 91 short pass, I thought that might be a bit higher actually considering his passing skill, 89 volleys, he's left footed, medium low work rate, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, some pretty poor physical attributes there, only 66 acceleration, 79 agility, 77 balance, 91 reactions, 75 sprint speed and 67 strength, as well as 85 attack positioning and 90 vision. So he has some very nice skill attributes as you could see, but not the best physical ones, and he's somewhat let down by his pace of 70. So I'll move on to the clips of him playing, and talk about him a little bit. So as you can see from his card, he's not the quickest of players. So I'll start off with his pace, and to be honest, although a lot of people say you don't need pace at cam, which is somewhat true, it's handy to have a little bit, and this guy, 70 pace just feels pretty slow, I'm not gonna lie. When you're coming up against the likes of Ramirez and Anderson at centre mid, or CDM even, then it's quite hard to get past them, and even when you do get past them, then they can just sprint back and usually catch up with you unless you've played a pass off. So of course you can work around it, but it just makes it a good bit more difficult to use this player. And I think if you had about 8 more pace, 7 more pace, about the same pace as Modric, then it would be ideal, because... Modric feels just fine to me, and even feels better than someone with, say, 90 pace, because they would be up and down the field too much. So I think just a little bit more pace would benefit him a lot. So I'll move on to his shooting, and his shooting is actually very, very nice, as you might expect from his card and in-game stats. And I did, although I didn't score that many goals with him, he did hit the bar post a few times, and th I seem to come up against a lot of Joe Hearts and Peter Checks, so... They obviously saved a lot of shots, and I think if he come up against a little bit worse goalkeepers, then they wouldn't have saved them, because he did have a lot of very nicely placed long shots. And his right foot isn't bad at all either, and his shooting actually makes him a really fun player to play with, along with the 4-star skills. And his passing again, as you might expect, is excellent. He can pretty much ping it to any area of the pitch that you want him to, and he's great for playing little through passes, I should put in a few clips of him doing that, because he seems to place them in almost exactly the right position almost every time. That's always handy no matter what kind of playstyle you have. His dribbling is relatively good. I wouldn't call it anything near amazing, but yet since he has got 4 star skills, he can definitely dribble around and get past players, and his skill dribble isn't too bad either, although his low acceleration lets him down in that regard, and definitely makes it more difficult for him to sprint past players, but his ball control and dribbling are both quite nice, and his agility and balance are decent as well which make it easy enough to dribble with him. And overall, this guy is a very good player if you can play with him. I wouldn't really recommend playing with centre mid, unless he was one of three-man midfield. In that case, I, it would be possible, definitely. Although he only has 34 standing tackles, so that could be a problem for you. But this guy's actually a pretty fun CAM to play with. And if you can play without pace, then I would recommend you go and try him. He may not be your favourite player, but... His shooting and passing are both very fun to use, but if you do need pace, I would recommend getting Modric instead if you're looking for, for someone from Spurs, and if you're looking for a Dutch player, then I would suggest getting Wesley Schneider. So I'll move on to the verdict guy, and I'm going to give this guy a 9 out of 10 for players that know how to use, slower players I suppose, but a 6 out of 10 for those who don't, because he's going to be quite difficult to use in any area of the pitch. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please leave it a like. So just play for the next review in the comments, and I'll talk to you all next time.